Hello and welcome to part 17 of a video series in the Blender game engine. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to add music to your games as well as triggered sound effects. Let's go ahead and jump in. I'll click on my splash screen to get rid of it. And the first thing I'll do is I'll show you my very simple yet awesome game. I can control this car by moving my mouse around and I can drive by pressing the W key on my keyboard. And I can collect all of the coins if I can do that in my scene. But wouldn't it be better if I could play this game and listen to music at the same time and hear sound effects when I trigger events. In this case, when I collect coins in my game. Yes, it would be better. So let's go ahead and add some music. I'm going to press control up arrow on my keyboard to go out of full screen mode. When you put your mouse in a window and you press control up arrow, you can go into and out of full screen mode. And as you can see, I've got a logic editor window up as well as a properties window and everything else that you normally get when you open up Blender. Let's go ahead and look at some music files on my desktop. I've got a couple of files here, one of which is a piece of music that a friend of mine, uh, Joey Chaos, made for me years ago. He only made it in about 30 minutes, so please don't be too harsh on the music. It's just fun uh, kind of video game music, as well as a sound effect for coin collection. Let's go ahead and use these and bring these into Blender. I'm going to go back into Blender. Now let's take a look at what's actually happening here. When I hit a coin with my car, I'm going to actually select the coin. You can see that I have a collision sensor here, and it's connected up with an AND over to a message, which sends the car a message. That's what this two object is and so when my car receives a message when it takes in that message uh, that's called a coin that's the subject it will uh, change a property I've got a coin count that's what CC stands for and when coin count gets to and I believe it's a six then we'll go to a scene called windscreen with a set scene or a scene actuator what I want to do here is I'm gonna be adding in and just to my camera um, a piece of music and then to these logic bricks we're going to be adding uh, a sound actuator to make sounds play and I'll show you a few specific settings to use there. So I'm going to select my camera which has no logic on it at all and I'm going to add a sensor. It's going to be an always sensor. We want the music to always be playing in this scene and I'm going to add an actuator. We're going to add a sound actuator right there and I'll connect them up right there and of course it puts an and in the middle. Now we want music to always be playing so I'll leave this um, logic brick just the way it is but I'm going to go ahead and open that sound from my desktop. It's called Circus Polygonus and I'll open it up. Now what you want to make sure here is that you want the music to loop. If that's what you want then you don't want to just have play stop as the play mode. You want to select loop stop and what that means is that as compared to loop end. Uh, they sound very similar, but loop stop, if you trigger the music to stop at some point, the music will actually stop right away, but it will still loop over and over and over again if you're playing your level for more than just the length of the song. If I choose loop end and I trigger the music to stop, the music will continue playing until its file has stopped until the end of the track has stopped. So you want to choose loop stop most likely. Okay, so let's go ahead and try playing the game. I'll press P on my keyboard. <laughs> okay, hopefully you heard that music. Let's go ahead and add some sound effects to the game when I hit a coin. So again, the coin knows that it should, when it gets collided with the car, it should end itself and that happens but also what happens when you collect a coin is that it sends a message to the car and the subject of this message is coin and so I'm going to select the car and find out where it receives that message it's right here it's a message sensor uh, the subject is again coin to match the other one and when it hears that coin message it's going to add one to its coin counter property great what I'm going to do is I'll collapse that other coin count um, and go to a win scene, um, those logic bricks there, because we don't need to deal with them. But I'm going to add another sound actuator. So I'll go to add actuator and sound. And I'm going to actually move it up one. So I'm going to collapse it and then press this up arrow. So it kind of jumps up one and I'll open it back up. I'm going to connect it to the and that receives the message or that connects up the message. So that when it hears that coin uh, message that it will add one to the property and it'll play the sound that I open. So let's go ahead and click on open. And on my desktop, I've got this sound effect.mp3. I'll open it up. Now, what you want to do here is make sure that you don't just have play stop. Because if I do that, 
the file, the mp3 file, will play only as the event is happening. But because the coin disappears right away, you're only going to hear a little blip, if anything, of this sound effect that I'm adding. So I'm going to change this from play stop to play end. That way it'll play all the way through that sound file every time this sound actuator is triggered. So let's go ahead and I'll press P and we'll see if the music plays and if we can hear the sound effects at the same time. Alright, that will be it for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Go ahead and check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash borncg. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.